Hello people this is self touch and we are continuing our series on AWS Lambda and in this video we will see how to update lambda function code using AWS command line tool. So in our previous video we have seen how to create a lambda function using AWS CLI. So we installed the AWS CLI and after installing the AWS CLI we got this AWS as the command line tool and then we want to interact with the lambda service of AWS and on this lambda service we want to perform this action of create function and this create function action accepts these parameters so we have provided that. So if you see this lambda create function then it provides us both with code and the configuration. So while creating a new lambda function we have to provide both code and configuration. So if you see about the code then this path of the zip file is the code that we want to upload and this timeout, handler, role, runtime are the configurations. So while creating a lambda function we provide both code and configuration. But when we are trying to update the lambda function then it is two step process. The first step process is either you want to upload the new code or either we, you want to update the configuration. So you can't update both things in a single command. So to update the lambda function code you have to use a separate action and to update the lambda function configuration you have to use a separate action. So the most important thing is you must read the documentation of AWS CLI Lambda to understand this. So we'll go to our browser and we'll search for AWS CLI Lambda. So this will give us a link to the AWS CLI documentation and inside this documentation for the Lambda service we can see that create function is there which we have already seen in previous video and then we can go for this update. So it says here update function code and update function configuration. So in this video we are interested in the updating of function code. So we'll click here and again we'll see the synopsis that update function code accepts function name as the mandatory parameter and these are the optional parameter. So things with the bracket are optional and things without bracket are mandatory. So we have seen that to update a function code we need to use this action. So going on to our slide we can see that we have to write some syntax like this to update our function. So AWS is the AWS CLI tool then this is the service that is lambda and the action that we want to perform is update function code and then we want to provide the name of the function that is which function we want to update so in our previous video we have created a function with the name hello world and here the we have to create give the path of the zip file and the reason where we want to upload our lambda function so we'll go to our aws console and we'll see the lambda function that we have created so I have already created an account here. If you want to use the AWS web console, you need to create an account. There is a one year of free tier. And now I'll sign in to my console. So inside my console, I can go to the services and inside services, I can go to my Lambda service. So this will open the console for my Lambda service. And here you can see inside the functions tab, this hello world function is there. So we'll open it and we'll see the code that has been present here. So these are the two lines of code that are present here. Now we'll try to add a new line here from our and upload the function code from our AWS CLI. So we, I will go to my Linux box and inside my AWS Lambda folder, this is the project that we, we were creating in the last part. So what I'll do, I'll first remove the zip file because I'll create a new one again to upload it. So I'm removing the zip file. So I'll fire the command rm and I'll say app.zip. If I will do my list file, then this app.zip has been removed. I'll open my vim and I'll open my nerd tree. If you are wondering how my vim works like that, then you can go to my YouTube course on vim and see how to make vim awesome. So inside my app folder, there is an index file and I'll try to add a new console.log. So it will say console.log and I'll write it as function updated. 
so this is the line that i have written that is console.log function updated now i'll again try to upload this code so i have to make a zip file out of this app folder so this app app folder is present here and i'll make a zip of it so i'll fire the command zip which is a utility i've installed and then minus r that is recursively and then i'll create app.zip file from what from app folder so everything recursively traverses the app folder and then create a app.zip so what this will do this will create a app.zip file now i'll create a new sh file which is a bash file and i'll type vim lambda update dot sh so inside my uh, lambda update i'll you can uh, directly fire the command but i i'm interested in creating a bash file so that you can refer uh, it in the later sessions or you can uh, when you are doing new codings then you can refer to your sh file again and see the command so i'll say this is my bash file so i'll type the c bank which is important that is which cell i'm using so it is bin bash and then i'll type aws and then the service which which with which i want to interact that is lambda and then i want to update my function code so the action will be update function code and i want to go to the new line so i have given a slash and then i'll type the parameter that is function name and the name of the function is hello world so if you'll see here inside my lambda function the name of the function is hello world and i'm trying to update it so i'll say hello world is my function and i'm trying to update it then i need to provide the path of my zip file so i'll give the parameter zip file and i'll say file which is a binary file and the binary file is located where it is present in my current folder so i'll say please take my app dot zip file and i'll go to the new line and again sorry there is a typo and this will be file and then i'll say the region where i want to upload this is us west 2 so if you see i have written everything right that my aws cli will perform update function code action on this lambda service with the name of the function as hello world zip file path is this and the region is there so i'll quit this file write and quit this file and i'll run this file so i'll say lambda update dot sh so it is trying to upload it and there is no error message the, so the uh, this is the response that i got from aws service and i will try to reload it so upon reloading it says we have restored the code from the previous version would you like to revert to the last saved state so i'll say revert now and you can now see this line has come from my local system that is function updated so we have successfully updated the lambda function code using this aws cli command so if you want to see the update command again so i'll show you the most important thing that you want to keep in mind is, is that to update the function it is a two process that is you have to update the function code and then you have to update the function configuration so in this video we are only seeing that how to update the function code so this is the aws cli then the service is lambda and the action that you want to perform is update function code and it accepts the mandatory parameter as function name and then the zip file and the re reason so this is the lambda update code video so this was all about this if you like my channel please subscribe to it and if you like my video please give a thumbs up thank you